one of the first things that I always uh, look at when I, I think about mobile video is what people want to have access to in the media that they're watching today. And there's a wide range of those available um, from your TV episodes that you want to watch that are now being broadcasted on the web to the user-generated content that everybody knows and loves on places like YouTube and MySpace and so forth and so on. Um, there's just a lot more video content out there today to consume. The primary way that people today are consuming them are through a web-based experience or through a PC-based experience. Um, and there's millions of assets and content that's been created for that environment. Um, but from a user perspective, I really want to have access to my content no matter where it's, you know, where it lives. Uh, and from my mobile device, it's just a logical extension of that. So we believe that over time, more and more content's going to become available to a, a mobile device. And the way to do that most easily is use the same technology that they're leveraging on the web to redistribute and rebroadcast their content to a mobile device. Today, the operators and the networks have been, ha had to have been built out for a very specific distribution just to mobile devices. But we're living in a world where, you know, when my friend publishes a video, he wants it to be everywhere that I could be, whether it's on a TV, whether it's on a PC, or whether it's on a mobile device. And Flash is really the first technology that, that has really allowed people to get the media, the rich content, anywhere. Second thing is, as you said, it provides a really rich experience. Instead of being in a very static, simple application, I can now brand and create an experience that is very custom to that device, or that user class, or that type. So I can create an application that, as a content provider, expresses my brand. And they're very familiar with that from creating PC and web applications. With the um, introduction of Flashlight 3, which is our latest Flash player for mobile and devices, they now can create those video type applications and services on mobile devices. So the application I'm going to show is an application called Mightyverse, which allows me to look up words and phrases in different languages, get a translation of that, but also see a video clip that explains how to say that. I'm going to type in the word tired. So I was trying to explain that to a cab driver in Spanish one time. And when I go down here and say search, it's now going to pull up the translation for that term as well as a video clip that goes along with that. Me falta el sueño. And this could be easily delivered to the mobile phone. You notice the whole application experience has been customized. There's overlay or text overlay on top of this uh, video. So it's a really rich experience that now is uh, very simple and easy for me to use to get the basic uh, premise of how to say this phrase or verbiage. Me falta el sueño. So the second experience of where mobile video can be very powerful is in the Flash Home experience, where a dynamic home screen is be created by a content provider that allows you to have a rich experience with your mobile device. The experience we've created is with Viacom MTV around a character SpongeBob that has the local data, like the time, a remote data service in the weather, but I can also pull up data services that could have been provided by the content provider or by the operator. In this case, I pull up SpongeBob's little house, and I open it up, and I get access to those data services. One of those could easily be a video data service that has clips, the free daily video of the day, for example. Now, it's as simply as being blended into this experience, but now you can see that the video itself has been layered into the experience. So there could be a promotional clip that they want to get people out to see about SpongeBob or his new movie, and then it can be surfaced right there in the user experience real easy to get at, real simple experience, branded, skinned, and themed into that frame of that home screen. So very rich uh, branded experience for the content providers and for the carriers to create these rich user experiences for.